So Apple has finally released the iOS 16 developer beta. iOS 16 comes with lots of improvements and new features including the ability to add widgets, lock screen and we have ability to do photo sharing and many more features. Today in this video I'm going to show you how you can install iOS 16 for free on your iPhone. So without further ado let's get started. Well the method I'm going to show you doesn't require developer account. So first thing we need to know what kind of iPhone is supported by iOS 16. So here I installed the iOS 16 beta onto my iPhone 10 but iOS 16 is compatible with following devices. You can use iPhone SE, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 8, iPhone X, XR, XS Max, XS, 11 Pro and 11 Max. And obviously you got all the versions of iPhone 11, 12 and 13. So sadly they are ditching the iPhone 6 and iPhone 7 but luckily if you got any of the devices given over here you can able to install iOS 16. Now just a quick little disclaimer, iOS 16 beta is still in the development stage so that's why there might be some bugs and glitches in the operating system so that's the one thing you need to take care of. So the first thing that you should do is back up your iPhone so you can install iOS 16 beta without any worries. So first thing make a fresh backup of your iPhone, this is very important and once you finish with the backup, open up Safari on your iPhone and write into the address bar type betaprofiles.com. Here you can find the latest iOS or iPadOS beta profiles. Since we are going to download iOS 16 beta, here you can scroll it a little bit and here you can find iOS 16 download and there you need to click on install profile. Then you'll get this from and here click on install anyways. Then you need to allow this prompt. And there you go, you can see our profile is successfully downloaded. We will close this up and go into our settings. Here you can see there is an option called profile downloaded. Here you need to tap on install and proceed with the installation. After you enter your passcode, you will get this consent and here you can click on install. Now your iPhone should prompt you that restart is required. In order to apply the changes, we need to restart your iPhone. Once the restart is completed, go to the settings again and here go into the general tab and then heading over to the software update. Now you can see iOS 16 beta is available to download and install. Once you click on download and install, you need to enter your passcode and once you agree to this terms and conditions, this process may take couple of minutes or so to download and install the iOS 16 beta on your iPhone. Well here you can see iOS 16 is successfully downloaded. Now we can connect our charging cable and then click on install now button. While the installation process is going on, your iPhone may reboot couple of times so it's just a normal process don't have to worry about anything and boom there you go guys my iPhone is successfully booted up with iOS 16 and now let me quickly show you the iOS version that I am running so go into the settings and here into the general software updates right now I am running iOS 16 and now if you head over back into your settings here you can see into the wallpaper you got couple of different wallpapers and lock screen I am quite enjoying the iOS 16 beta experience so guys what will you choose? Will you buy an iPhone 14 or install iOS 16 on your existing iPhone? Do let me know in the comments down below. I hope this video was helpful so make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and this is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.